We, we want to talk about altars. And Travis Scott in, had a concert and we had thousands of people getting hurt. The press said eight people, but many people died. So, and one day the pastor told us, you know, when we go to heaven, we'll be worshipping all the time. <laughs> I became very depressed. <laughs> as young people, mm. we, we love the song to dance. I was even asking <laughs> the pastor, are you sure, Pastor, that in heaven <laughs> there will be no DJs? I saw one so-called man of God on Facebook and he said, uh, I feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, because you have to know these people are actors. You have to know Jesus is Lord. So, hallelujah. I feel the presence of God. And for the year 2022, mm -hmm. you need to get in to your wallet and sow a seed mm. for 2022 10 shillings. Amen. Hallelujah. If music that is ordained by God can set free, set the captives free, what about music that is initiated by the kingdom of darkness? What can it do to your life? Just imagine the amount of damage that music can cause to your life. Because your destiny is here. God has placed your star. Mm. They now have access to steal that star. And where do they take that star? Into their own kingdom to give it to the so-called stars mm. who are willing to sell their, their souls. souls.